What's up beautiful people? Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect sea moss gel. Yes, the perfect sea moss gel. So if y'all haven't heard about sea moss yet, go do your research real quick. Go check it out. Everybody needs to know about sea moss. It has 92 minerals and it has so many, so many great benefits. I can't even sit here and list it. It takes too long to talk about. What I will say is it has hair and skin benefits as well. So I use it cosmetically for my hair and my skin. Check out my video below on that. As well as check out my video on how to decide whether your sea moss is fake or real or poor grown or wild crafted. There are so many different colors to sea moss. It can be gold, it can be green, it can be purple. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the gel. All right, so I purchased this sea moss from Official Sea Moss, um, and their sea moss is from St. Lucia. And if you know St. Lucia, you know they have very clear waters, which I love. Now, I have a link to a few vendors that, I've, that I like below. Just because I got this on sale, I'm always looking for the most cheapest sea moss available with the utmost highest quality. So you definitely have to price check and check which one will work for you, but I would definitely give you some options in the link below. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is apply spring water to our sea moss. We're gonna use this to clean our sea moss. So on the left is the uh, pool grown sea moss and on the right is the um, wild crafted sea moss. And uh, this is on another video. But for, to, for today, we're gonna focus on the wild crafted sea moss right here. So you're gonna go ahead and clean it with spring water. And you can use lemons also to clean your sea moss. I just have about two, no, this is two ounces. Yeah, two ounces of sea moss. Here, I believe uh, Akeem has eight ounces on his website, um, but he puts it in grams. So uh, I, I'm gonna purchase from him real soon too because he, his is a bit more for my buck, which I like. After you're done draining your sea moss, you're gonna wanna go ahead and apply more water, but this time it's just so it can soak overnight. So you're gonna wanna fill it all the way to the top of your bowl. Make sure your bowl is three times bigger than your sea moss so it has room to expand. And you're gonna go ahead and um, apply lemon about two lemons in there and let it sit overnight now i didn't add enough water in the in this um, video but off camera i added more to make sure it filled the top of my container and i'm going to let this sit for 24 hours so now it is the next day and i see that my sea moss has fully expanded we're gonna go ahead and drain out the water here. That's my son helping me. And you can use this water for many things like soups, as a hair rinse, as a deep conditioner. And I have some videos on what you can use with the water. Uh, and I'm gonna add it in the link below when I get around to making those videos. But this is a sea moss, fully drained, fully expanded and looking quite luscious. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off or just pull apart these strands to make sure it's easier to blend. You don't need scissors for this, just pull it with your hands and quickly get it done. Um, and if you have a good blender, it should be able to handle this uh, amount of strands. So I'm gonna put the whole two ounces in my blender and Here's the important part. Once you put it into the blender, you do not want to fill it all the way to the top where the sea moss stops. You want to fill it about a couple of inches below, as you see here. When you put too much water in there, it's gonna make it too liquidy. You wanna ensure that it has that nice gel consistency, so make sure it's below that level, all right? And you're gonna go ahead and blend. Now this is the process. You're gonna blend, stop, check it, blend, check it, blend, check it. And once you get to the consistency you want, you can stop. But as of right now, as you see, it's watery. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on and blend again. 
and they're gonna continue this process like I said until you get the gel consistency that you want so just wait guys it's a process have patience it's gonna get there as you see here it's getting quite thick so my gel is forming but I don't want to stop there I still feel like it can be a lot more smoother so I'm gonna go back in and blend again now I'm checking it again and this time the gel is there guys you, you see that gel that's exactly what I want it's really nice and smooth and it is the consistency that I desire now if you want a bit more watery add more water if you want it thicker add less water but with this uh, method you know that you're guaranteed not to have uh, sea moss that is too loose or too watery as your gel form so there you go I did it one more time just to ensure that it was smooth and that is the exact exact consistency that I wanted do it like this guys and you are guaranteed to get the perfect sea moss that you desire so now that we are done with this sea moss it looks so good like edible right now <laughs> I'm gonna make ice cubes with my sea moss and store it in the freezer. So that way I can just throw it in my smoothies, throw it in my soups if I'm making soups. You know, it's just an easier way to uh, use and it lasts a lot longer. I believe it will last about three months in the freezer, uh, as well, whereas the liquid form only lasts about a month. You're gonna wanna go ahead and freeze these ice cubes okay in your freezer make sure they're covered when putting into the freezer once you take them out they will look like this so those these can be stored in your freezer for three months and used for whatever you desire and I've, it's an easy way to store your sea moss and increase its longevity if you just don't have time to keep going back and forth making the gel because my, my days are busy I'm a very busy person anybody who knows me knows I'm always busy so I don't have time to be soaking things and making gels on a consistent basis so this is great for me now here's a gel I only had a little bit left and that is why I said I wanted to purchase a little bit more next time uh, maybe eight ounces you know what I'm saying just a little bit more because this gel wasn't really enough for my son and I like it's almost finished now I gotta buy some more so that is the gel right there and guys when I say it's amazing it really 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 does work I'm gonna go ahead and give you my experience on what it did for me or what it does for me within like a month or two of using it but I'm gonna store this in the fridge and like I said it can last a month in the fridge and there you have it guys, sea moss ice cubes and sea moss gel, all in one video, just for y'all. Thank y'all for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and check out my videos below on different ways I'm going to use my sea moss. Peace.